so I want to start uploading weekly things that I want to see in Elder Scrolls 6 videos. Obviously whether I do that or not depends on how well this video does. I have already said a lot of things in my Elder Scrolls 6 Ultima wishlist, so if you haven't seen that video go and check it out. Anyway, if you do enjoy the video, please do give it a like, it helps out smaller channels like myself more than you can imagine. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. I upload daily Elder Scrolls, Fallout and Starfield content. And we are hoping to hit 300 subscribers here soon, so it would really mean a lot. With that said and done, let's get straight into the video. So in these maybe weekly uploads, I'm gonna talk about five things. So starting us off at number one, I really want to see a big map. Now don't get me wrong, Skyrim's map is huge, even by today's standards. But with Elder Scrolls 6, I want to see it even bigger. Now I do believe that Bethesda is starting to make their maps bigger due to the fact that they are using new technology to create their maps. If the game is set in Hammerfell, like most of us suspect, Hammerfell is a pretty huge place. Obviously in Skyrim we had the entirety of Skyrim, so what's stopping us from getting all of Hammerfell? I think big maps are a great benefit to Bethesda games, it just gives them more room and areas to give us more stories and let us explore. Now personally I am really hoping that Elder Scrolls 6 is set in High Rock, if I had to pick one. I love their kind of medieval vibe, I want to see a ton of old castles, ruins and things like that. Either way, I just want a massive gigantic map. I want to be level 30 and still discovering new locations. I'm talking massive cities, small towns, random inns, ruins, caves, dungeons, small farm homes, camps, the list goes on. Honestly, I could probably make an entire like 20 minute video just talking about the map of Elder Scrolls 6. So before I start doing that, let's just move on. Next, I really want better horses in Elder Scrolls 6. I did talk about this in my ultimate wishlist, but I want to talk about it more in depth. Now, in my opinion, Red Dead Redemption 2 has the best horse system I've ever seen in an open world game. I really, really hope Bethesda take inspiration from Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me find different types of horses. Some are faster, some are slower, but stronger. Some have better stamina, etc. Give us rare and unique horses, and then let me customize them. Let me change their coating, maybe. Definitely let me customize their saddles, horseshoes, the styles of their hair, and most importantly, let me name them, feed them, brush them, maybe even wash them. Now, I really did love the whole horse mechanic in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd also love Bethesda to do the whole cinematic horse auto travel thing. This would be great for survival. Bethesda does have a new game engine now, finally. So things like this could be possible, and I'm really hoping that they improve horses this way. Now this is kind of a bonus thing, but while we're on the topic of horses, maybe even give me different types of mounts, giant wolves, saber-toothed cats, and things like that. In third place, and these are in no particular order by the way, but in third place, I really want to talk about DLC. Now I know what you're thinking, we don't even have the game yet and you want to talk about DLC. <laughs> and I get it, but hear me out. Many people suspect Elder Scrolls 6 will be set in both High Rock and Hemmonfell. Although, I do not think that that would be the case. Let's say, for example, the game is set in High Rock. Bethesda will probably do a DLC that takes you to another land. This is pretty given now. Bethesda that now always do this. Well, I want that DLC to take us to another place in Tamriel. We get an Elder Scrolls game, what, once every 100 years? We seriously probably won't see Elder Scrolls 7 until 2040 or something ridiculous like that. So in Elder Scrolls 6, I want to see as much of Tamriel as possible. I want to see Hammerfell, Elsewhere, Valenwood, Somerset Isle. Obviously we're not going to see every single one of those places, but I just want at least one DLC that takes you to another place in Tamriel. Now I'm not really fond of online games. I play for a few, but not a lot. I don't play or like Elder Scrolls Online, I'll be honest with you. So I really don't want to wait another 15 years to see another location in Tamriel. Now in 4th place, I really want to see Bethesda go more in depth to the emotional side of things. If there's a war, I want to feel it. One of my very few complaints about Skyrim was the Civil War, and how it didn't really feel like a war. There wasn't really any big deaths throughout the story, there wasn't any real struggle or danger. I never worried about the Stormcloaks or the Empire suddenly attacking a city. If there's a massive war in Elder Scrolls 6, I really, really want to feel it. I want to worry about walking into enemy territory. I want to see cities burning to the ground. I want to see people I've gotten close to die. 
I want it to feel impactful. Another thing I want to mention is if there is a war quest, I want it to be long. After I first completed Skyrim Civil War quest, I remember just thinking to myself, wait, is that it? <laughs> I want it to take at least a day to get through it, because even taking it slow you can get through Skyrim's Civil War quest in a matter of hours. I'd really love to see Bethesda do another giant war like this in Elder Scrolls 6, with the original idea that they had for the Civil War questline. If you guys didn't know, originally Bethesda planned for the Civil War questline to be a lot more in depth shall we say. Originally, before it was scrapped, you was going to rise through the ranks, decide where you was going to attack, decide your defences, choose tactics, and it would all come with different outcomes and consequences. I really want to see this return in Elder Scrolls 6, not necessarily for a civil war, but just for a giant war in general. And now the final thing I really want to talk about is companions. If you guys subscribe to me, you'll know I honestly without doubt in my mind think that Fallout 4 has the best companions of any Bethesda Game Studios game. They actually have personalities, they felt real, not like door blocking robots aka Lydia. I really really want Elder Scrolls 6 to continue down this road. I want maybe one companion for each race. Ideally, I'd like two companions for each race in case one of them is annoying or I don't like them, which I suppose is possible, but doubtful that Bethesda would go through with doing that many voiced and fully like personalised companions. But either way, I just want to see the return of likes and dislikes, loves and hates, personal quests, hearing their opinions on things around the world, their unique armors, maybe even unique weapons, building relationships, romantic or otherwise. Honestly, I will be severely disappointed if this isn't in Elder Scrolls 6. Anyway guys, that does do it for the video. Let me know which ideas you want to see me talk about in the next part of this video, if I make one. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see a part 2, please do drop a like, it really helps me out. If you want to stay up to date on Elder Scrolls, Fallout and Starfield news and content, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I really hope to see you in the next one.